in one of my previous videos, I unboxed this cube right here together with Dian Slave's release, the Guon version 4. Now, I didn't know what this cube was back then, but you guys are obviously very smart and you quickly pointed out that this is the Guon version 1. What has 10 years of cubing innovation done to the Guhang line? Well, we will find out exactly that in today's video and I'm also going to take a better look at the Guhang version 4 and why I think it's one of the best releases of 2020. And to start off 2021 in a great way, I have this $250 gift card laying around to the cubicle.com. I'm not going to use it, so do you guys want to have it? $250. All you need to do is like, comment and subscribe and I will choose one of my lucky subscribers in about two weeks from now. But anyways, let's find out what's the difference between both cubes. Shall we take a better look? The biggest difference you notice right away is that we now have colored plastic. Wow. But you can actually get the version 4 stickered as well, so that doesn't really count. So what's the difference then? Well, you can see that the overall design has changed quite a bit. We have some tracks on the edges, we have a torpedo now. I would say that the new design is less rounded. We have a way shorter stem and also the head of the stem is way bigger. But overall, the main principle of the design has stayed exactly the same. The biggest difference is probably that the new one is magnetic. But aside from the magnets, the features of both puzzles is pretty much the same. You just have screws to tension the springs and that's about it. If we for example compare that to another modern flagship, the purple can, we notice that this one has adjustable magnets, a dual adjustment tensioning system and even a magnetic core. This cube has none of those things. So although the version 4 doesn't have any remarkable design features, the difference in design leads to one cube turning like this. And the other one, it just turns as fast as I want it to turn, to be honest. I think Diane's goal with this cube was to bring flagship performance but with a lower price tag. And the way they did that was to get rid of all the customization options. The only catch really is that the cube needs to fit you because there ain't much you can do except for tensioning the springs a bit. Well, will it fit you? I don't know. Let's talk about the performance. So first of all, the cube was extremely fast out of the box. Oh boy. Which meant that I had to tighten the screws quite a bit, which also meant that the corner cutting suffered. I mean, reverse corner cutting is basically trash. But you and I both know that corner cutting ain't all. So how does it feel? Well, I think it's really difficult to describe what this cube exactly feels like. But after watching a video of my good friend Cubix, I totally get it now. So I think it's best if I just let him explain it to you. On the Guhang V4, even though the magnets are weaker and it is easier to start a turn, it's even easier to turn the cube once the magnets are not engaged. Because the difference between this and this is immense compared to the other cubes I tested. So to summarize the feel of the cube, I would say that the cube is such a light turning cube that every turn you do feels really snappy because of the magnets. And about the magnet strength, I think it fits the cube perfectly well. And that's a good thing, because out of most of the cubes that aren't customizable, I noticed that the magnet strength bothered me the most, but I think that the magnet strength fits the speed of the cube perfectly well. Good job, Dion. The review wouldn't be complete without showing some souls, would it? So I think I did a total of about 150 souls using this cube and I got my normal averages like pretty fast. I would say like after an average of 12, I got pretty much used to the cube and I was able to get my almost normal times. Like I had to adjust my turning style just a little bit because with the corner cutting that I need for my turning style, the cube is just a bit too fast. So I had to slow down my turning just a bit. Although the cube has a very light weight, I find that the feel of this cube is totally different than let's say again flagship cube. I think it's because of the weight distribution, the magnetic pull and, and the plastic of this cube is just way softer. So I perform really well on this cube but I'm not gonna main it. Mainly because it doesn't really fit my turning style but secondly, well, let me talk about that right now. So basically I'm going to sum up some bad points right now. Let's switch up the vibe a bit. I don't think it is a very enjoyable cube to turn. Not unenjoyable necessarily is that a word unenjoyable but it just feels kind of boring maybe i think it has to do with the fact that the pieces are mostly flat there are some grooves here but it's mostly a pretty flat surface secondly the cube is so light that it almost starts to feel cheap in some weird way you can almost compare it to imagining a magnetic speed cube made out of paper that's maybe a bit too extreme but it has a weird hollow feel to it. Now that I think of it, if you own a Tangyung version 2 or if you've ever tried one, it feels like a very hollow 
Tanyang version 2 that is a bit more stable. If you have that cube, that, that's like the perfect summary of the feel. And finally, as I said before, if you want to tension the cube because you like controllable cubes, you will have to compromise some of the corner cutting. But aside from those things, I think this is probably one of the best releases of the year. So you should get yourself one using discount code CUBEHEAD on the cubicle.com for an almost outrageously big discount. Honestly, thank you so much, guys. Like, I joke about the discount code now and then, but it amazes me how many people actually decide to support the channel by using the discount code, because it really helps so much. You, you have no idea. So thanks to this cube, we can at least end 2020 on a good note, if we're talking about cubing at least. By the way, guys, I totally forgot to mention this in this video. It comes with the best looking cube bag I've ever seen. Ciao, guys.